Yo, what's good, everybody? You're back with the press. And today is my day three in my new planche and one-arm training routine. Now, like in the previous videos I mentioned, my day three, which originally was supposed to be my day two, is going to be a heavy-weighted day. You're going to see a lot of weighted pulls, a lot of heavy-weighted dips, and some isometric weighted holds. Now, just because this is my specific training for my purpose of getting a one-arm pull and a planche does not mean that this routine cannot be tailored and used by other levels of uh, trainees. Now, this is a great push-pull routine again. You're going to see in my previous video that I just posted the last push-pull routine that I did with all the supinated grip work, the high-volume accessory work, where I did the supinated grip push-ups right into the supinated grip chin-ups, 10 by 10 for 8 rounds. So now today we're going to be doing heavy-weighted day. So you're going to see, like I said, a lot of heavy-weighted pulls, heavy-weighted dips. Now the way I train my weighted reps is I always like to warm up with a few volume sets, maybe like 10 to 12 reps for two sets, working up to some heavy weight. So I'll probably throw on a 25 for the first set, then a 45, hit a set of 10, a set of 10, and then we'll get right into the working sets. So stay tuned. All right, so like always, we're starting with a shoulder warm-up. I'm going to do some side ladder raises, get some blood flow into the shoulders, warm up the shoulder joint. Alright, so getting into the first push exercise of the day. Remember, this is a strength training session, but like I said, I'm going to do two warm-up sets to get some volume pumped into the chest. I'm going to start with 25 pound weighted dips. I'm going to just do one set of 10 reps. Second warm up set. 50 pound strap on, just another 10 reps, lightweight, gradually building up the weight heavier and heavier as I get into my first working set next. Alright, getting into the first working set, first heavy set of the day. Now, remember when training strength sets, the goal is going to be low volume, heavy weight. When working in a strength range, if you're being able to push that weight for multiple reps, it's no longer really strength based. You want to be building strength, working on heavier and heavier loads. So remember, when working on heavier loads and low volume, it's higher break periods. You want to really let your central nervous system recover and recover your ATP and PCR stores. Now, when I'm training strength, my favorite way to do it is in the 5-3-1 pyramid scheme. So my first set will be five reps at a decently heavy weight and each set after that the weight will go up and the reps will drop. So the first set you're going to see five reps. You're going to see I'm going to strap on 75 pounds, a nice clean five reps. So. so I got 325 strapped on, 325s right now, easy five reps. Now, these build-up sets, the 5-3-1, the 5 reps, the 3 reps, you're building up to that 1 rep max. So this 5 reps is meant to be challenging, but not too challenging where you're going to fatigue for the upcoming sets. Alright, set 2. Rest about 3 minutes. Now I'm going for 3 reps. So, like I said, each progressive set, the reps are going to go down and the weight is going to go up, building up to that 1 rep max. So, right here I'm going to strap on 245s and a 25 for 115 pounds, going for three reps. Remember, you want to be able to control the weight. You're working up to one rep max, so these three reps should be controllable. Heavy, but manageable. Set three. 
Now we're going for singles. This is going to be my first one rep max attempt. So I'm going to strap on 245s and 225s. It's going to have 140 on. If I hit a smooth rep, I'll increase it the next set. If I struggle on this rep, I'll rest on three to five minutes and I'll stay at this 140 for another two to three sets. So the total set amount would be five, three, one, one, one. Working at that single rep range for one to four sets. So you're gonna see 140 right now for a single. If I manage it easy and controlled, I'll up at the next set. If I struggle at it, I'll stay at the same weight for the next two sets to come. One forty. Not too bad. This is the fourth working set. You saw I just did one forty pretty easily. I rested about three minutes. Now I'm going to strap on again two forty fives, two twenty fives, and I'm going to add a ten. So I'm going to have one fifty strapped on. I'm going to go for one rep. Let's see how this goes. Let's go. Lightweight. Let's get it. All right. So I don't know how that looked on camera, but I ain't going to front going down. It was a little tough to control. So instead of going up for the final set, I'm going to stay at 150, I'm going to rest three minutes, and I'm going to go for one more rep at 150. All right, set five. Last set of a single. 150 on again. I rested five minutes after that last set of 150, so let's see how I get this one. I just finished up my push sets for the day. Now we're gonna get on to the pull movement. I'm gonna, last time we, we trained when I did the accessory work, I did 10 sets of 10 chin ups. So today I'm gonna be doing heavy weighted pull ups. I'm gonna be working the same rep scheme, five, three, one, with two warm up sets. Now, in general, I'm stronger in a pushing motion than in my pulls. I could rep way more in dips than I can in pulls volume wise. So for dips, I warmed up with two sets of 10. For pulls, I'm not gonna warm up with two sets of 10 because I don't wanna start fatiguing my muscles. I'm gonna do one body weight set for about six to eight reps, and then I'll throw on a 25 pound plate, and I'll rep out for another six reps for my second warm up set. And then we're gonna follow the same rep scheme again. Five, three, one, with the weight progressively getting heavier, and the reps getting lower. So, let's get it. All right, set one, body weight set first, warm up. I'm going to be working for six to eight reps, but now with these reps, I'm going to be focusing on pulling as high as I can. I'm going to be trying getting chest to bar for each set to engage a little more of that pulling strength for the upcoming heavy sets to come. So, warm up set number one. Like I said, six reps, you're not trying to fatigue the muscle, and the reason why I did less reps than I did in my dips is because I'm stronger in a dip than I am in a pull, and I have more reps in general when pressing than in pulling. So six reps for the first warm-up set. So in case y'all are wondering, this type of training today is going to be a low-carb day for me. I'm going to have higher fats. Now remember what I said in my previous video, when you're doing strength training, Isometric training, the volume is relatively low. Yes, we're breaking down muscle fibers. I'm lifting heavy weight, I'm tearing down the muscle fiber, but I am not, uh, I'm not depleting my glycogen stores set after set, rep after rep, over and over with low break periods. Remember, when doing heavy weight, low volume work, you're taking high break periods. You're letting your central nervous system recover and you're letting your energy stores the ATP and the PCR, which are the main energy stores that are going to be used when doing this type of training, this low rep, low time sets, is going to be, the main thing is, recovering those stores. So taking this three to five minute break is going to recover those stores optimally. So there is no need 
to post-workout go ahead and overload on carbs. Because again, you're not depleting the glycogen stores like you would be if you're doing a high volume, repetitious workout. So here's warm up set number two. Got the 25 pound on, and we're just gonna go for again, another six reps. Yo, don't get it twisted. Like I said previously, this routine can be done by any level. If you can't even do a pull-up yet, how can you work this routine? A 5-3-1 uh, rep scheme. How can you do it? Let's start with the heaviest band possible. Let's use the band that's going to give you the most resistance. Let's do five reps with that heavy band. Let's wait a few minutes. Let's drop the band to the next level down. And let's do three reps. Maybe you're, maybe you're starting at a mid-level mid -level band as is. Maybe we get five reps with that mid-level band. The second set when you're doing those three reps, maybe you're down to the lightest level band now. And now when you go for that one rep, maybe you could work singles at body weight. Do one rep at body weight over and over. So you do five reps with the heavy band, three, rep, three reps with a lighter band, one rep with body weight. Five, three, one, taking that five minute rest period in between. That's how you're gonna build a lot of strength. Remember, five, three, one, that type of training is geared towards strength. We're trying to build strength and with heavier loads each time. So if you can't do a pull up yet, your body weight is a heavy load for you. You use the bands to, de to decrease the load and then hopefully you can get down to that one rep single with body weight and that's how you progress. And once you get good at that, then you can start doing body weight, five reps. Three reps, you'll add a pound to you. Uh, then you go for the singles, maybe you'll add five pounds and do reps with uh, five pounds added on you for singles. That's how you're gonna build strength. Same thing with the dips. If you can't do dips yet, let's do the dips with bands. Let's put a band around our knees. Let's do five reps with a heavy band. Simultaneously, then same thing. Drop the band to a lower level, three. And even if you can't do a dip yet, drop the band again to a lower level and you'll do singles at the lowest level band that you can work. Stay, same thing, getting that three to five minute break and that's how you're gonna build strength and bust through your plateaus. Now remember, one day a week, I recommend be strength focused another day endurance focused, a third day hyper, uh, more hypertrophy focused. That's how you're gonna get the best results, optimally getting the best of all the worlds combined. All right, first working set. I got 225 straps, going for five reps. Remember, when working in that strength rate, uh, that strength rep range, you want to make sure it's full lockout, full contraction each rep. We want to get strong in the full range of motion. We're not doing shorties. We're not doing partial reps here. Remember, you want to get strong in the full range of motion from that dead hang position to full chin over the bar. Second working set. I'm going to throw on 325, 75 pounds, going for three reps. So, 325s, three reps. All right, 75 for three, wasn't too bad. Third working set now, going for singles. I got 100 pounds on. Two forty fives and a ten. One rep. Full dead hang. Chin over the bar. That was tough. So I'm gonna stay at this hundred pounds for the next two sets. I'm gonna rest three minutes and let's get it. All right, set four. Hundred pounds again. Going for a single. Now, I'm barely getting chin over the bar on these sets, I know. So, I can either lower the, rep, uh, I can either lower the weight, or I'm going to stay at this 100 pounds, and I'm going to keep trying to pull my chin over the bar for the last remaining set, just to get stronger at this weight. So, next week when I do this, I'll probably, again, stay at this 100 pounds for my one rep max until I get clean reps. And then, once I'm getting the 100 clean reps, 
then I'll increase it for the single. All right, fifth set. Five minute break after that last 100 pound pull. Again, 100 pounds, one more single. So, like I said, that was a struggle again. Have the last set, first set, 50 pounds, five reps. Then I went to 75 pounds for three reps. And then hit 100 pounds for three singles. One, one, one. Now, it's gonna be a wrap for the push pull part of the workout. Now, again, like I said, this can be tailored to anybody's level. You don't have to use weight, you could use bands if you need to. Now, I'm gonna get on to some isometric holds for the rest of the routine. All right, so. For the isometric sets, I'm going to be working L-sit holds right into a tuck planche. I'm going to be going L-sit hold for 30 seconds. I got the 12-pound vest on. And then I'm going to go straight arm right into a tuck planche for 15 seconds. I'm going to be working to go for about five rounds of this. Let's see how set one goes. See if I can hold that full L for 30 seconds. Then right into a tuck planche. All right, here you're going to see set three and the last rounds of the isometric holds. So for the first two sets, it was really a struggle for me to hold that 30-second L and then right into a 15-second tuck planche. So for this last set, I cut the hold times down a little bit. So for the L sit, all I did was a 20-second full L sit hold right into a 10-second tuck planche just to cut down the time and so I could get a clean set for the final round. 